okay so before starting this video i want to let you guys know that there is an affiliate link in the description for flipkart and amazon if you're buying anything you can support the channel by using the link welcome to the video guys today we're going to be talking about the rtx 3050 rtx 3050 ti and the rtx 3060 which is going to come with a 12 gb vr ram variant which is leaked by lenovo and video cards and there is also a rtx 30 60 ultra floating around according to my guesses it's fake but let's get started so first we are going to be talking about the rtx 3050 which will be based on reportedly the ga107 die we don't know anything about this die yet but it will be performance of a rtx 2060 which is a really good thing for the amount of vram it will have 4 gigabytes of gddr6 vram which is less as compared to the 6 gigabytes of vram on the rtx 2060 as per cuda course it will be having 2304 cuda cores but on the rtx 2060 it was 1920 cuda cores so you can basically see in terms of raw performance it will be around the rtx 2060 mark okay now let's talk about the rt cores in the rtx 3050 it will have 18 rt cores which are second gen remember that and the rtx 2060 has 30 rt cores which are gen 1 cores so even though there are less number of rt cores in the rtx 3050 but they are second generation so they will be way better than the first generation ones now talking about the tensor cores there will be 72 tensor cores which are way less than rtx 2060's 240 tensor cores now rtx 3050 will be coming with third generation of tensor cores and now talking about the price the rtx 3050 will be probably around the 180 dollar mark which is a really good thing rtx 2060 level around performance under 200 dollars basically it's a steal if you want to get into 1080p basic gaming and you're not having a high refresh rate monitor or something like maybe a 1080p 144 hertz monitor or a 1080p 60 hertz monitor and you just want a budget card which can even run rt games at low settings or medium settings at 1080p you can buy the rtx 3050 which will perform around the mark of 2060 so which is really good now let's move over to the rtx 3050 ti so the rtx 3050 ti will come with a 6 gigabytes of gddr6 ram it will offer performance around the rtx 2070 level and it will be based on the ga106 die and rtx 2070 i know it had 8 gigabytes of gddr6 ram but 6 gigabytes is enough for modern titles as well if you're not playing in high resolutions the the vram shouldn't be a bottleneck now talking about the number of cuda cores in this rtx 3050 ti it will be 3584 cuda cores whereas in the rtx 2070 there were 2304 cuda cores which are way less so you can see the raw performance in terms of raw performance and you'll also get a generational upgrade because this will be based on the new architecture so in both the cases rtx 3050 and 3050 ti the raw performance of cuda cores is more than the 2060 and 2070 so it will perform around that level talking about the rtx 3050 ti rt cores it will have 28 rt cores and rtx 2070 had 36 rt cores which is more but it was first generation of 36 rt cores and it will have 28 rt cores but they are second generation and they are way faster than first generation talking about tensor cores it will have 112 tensor cores and whereas rtx 2070 had a lot of tensor cores which were uh, 288 tensor cores but the thing is 288 tensor cores they were second generation the rtx 3050 ti tensor cores which are 112 but they are third generation so they are way improved and the performance you will be getting is around the rtx 2070 level and you will get this performance under 250 dollars can you believe it rtx 2070 around 450 dollars and 500 dollars it was a card launched back then and now you're getting in half the price you're getting 8 nanometer new process the new ampere architecture and it will be under 250 dollars this card will be perfect for 1080p high refresh rate gaming and even you could play some titles at 1440p at 1080p this card will rock everything at ultra settings and it will give you around 80 fps or 80 to 100 fps i guess depending on the title it might change but 1080p 60 is going nowhere and you can use this card for 1440p gaming as well so in the end part of the february month you will see the rtx 3050 and 3050 ti and there is also a ces keynote from nvidia this january 12 so maybe 
they're going to be teasing the RTX 3060 and the 3050 Ti and the 3050 in that event. Let's see what's going to happen. And this, all this info was leaked by video cards and the original website, the brand which leaked this info was Lenovo. So basically, if you see any RTX 3060, 3050 or 3050 Ti in stock and if you're getting it for a normal MSRP or a little above MSRP, just grab the card. There is no question about it. At launch, just grab this card if you want to play at a budget, if you want to spend less money and have the RTX, like the latest generation of RTX for a long time, just buy these cards. And that was about for it. If there will be any more leaks, I'll let you guys know and make sure you like this video make sure you comment your opinion on how these both cards are and thanks for watching this video guys and if you're new to this channel please hit the subscribe button helps the channel out